Hello friends! Today I'm doing the first in what I hope will be a series of videos about three things you need to know about topic and today that topic is breakups um, because uh, I've gone through a lot of them and so one of my friends recently was going through a breakup um, and she's quite young so it was her first one and she was just you know you have a lot of emotions and um, you know and she had a lot of questions about like what happened you know um, and that kind of thing and so I'm gonna give you the three main pieces of advice that I gave her and that if I was talking to myself when I was 20 I would be giving myself these pieces of advice so number one uh, in the lead up to the breakup or in that conversation where somebody says we need to talk um, get it all out there like if you have questions or if you have you know things that they've done that hurt you that you want to let them know like um, definitely ask those questions say those things I'm not saying you should like deliberately hurt them in what you say but you'll always regret it if you come out of that conversation and you think to yourself oh I didn't tell them how disappointed I was that they're ending this and I didn't tell them how angry it makes me that they lied to me or you know whatever they've done um, yeah, being honest and being able to be direct about those things is actually really helpful at the time and later because then you don't have those regrets of I wish I've, I'd, I wish I'd stuck up for myself or I wish I hadn't just let it pass silently into the night, that sort of thing. Um, that's my first piece of advice. And also to ask questions about, like if they're really vague about why they're leaving you, if they're dumping you, ask because you don't want to... Um, you, you don't want to later go into other relationships feeling really nervous because you don't know whether you did something wrong in the past relationship or not. If you know it wasn't your fault, it's really about them, then it's really easy to, um, to move on. And moving on is a good thing when something ends. So my second piece of advice, don't try to stay friends unless you really, really want to. A lot of people will say, oh, I, I don't love you anymore, but let's stay friends. Um, and I've got to be honest, a lot of them will, if they're guys, a lot of them will, um, take advantage of that, you know, they, they think it's, it's easy, um, for the person to move on or whatever, um, it's easy for them to move on, but you're sitting there like, uh, um, really hurt and that hurt sticks around even while you're trying to be friends and they don't get that, um, sometimes. And uh, I've found that there's a certain time period, you know, you can kind of stay friends for a couple of years or whatever. Um, but then after that, it just gets really awkward. You see their life moving on, um, but you're still trying to stay friends. Yeah, it's just, it's not actually that helpful for anybody. Um, so that's my advice. Unless you really, you know that you're going to be in each other's life for a long time. And then maybe it's worth trying to stay friends and keep that friendship. Like I have one friend who... Um, she's stayed friends with one of her exes for 40 years which I think is so impressive um, but that's because he's married to her best friend so what are you gonna do she is gonna see him on like a, a monthly weekly basis it made a lot of sense for her to um, work at trying to keep that friendship so uh, the third piece of advice what have I written here oh <laughs> it's okay number three it's okay if it's a relief when it ends um, if you're the person ending it it's almost always a relief when you finally do that break up and and walk away and say okay that's it no more um, yeah because you know for you there's been a build-up of you know it's not working and it's frustrating trying to keep it going or whatever um, but it's also okay if it's a relief for you as the person on the other end if you're getting dumped and you walk away and you have a cry and you're really hurt but then after a day or so you feel like huh I feel like a weight is lifted off my shoulders like this other person I'm not trying to please this other person anymore and that's okay that's a good thing um, it doesn't say anything bad about you as a person if you feel relieved that a relationship has ended um, and I just want to reassure you with that, that it's honestly okay, like, and that's a healthy thing because that's going to help you to move on if you can realize that, um, actually that relationship wasn't helping me and one day I'll find one that's better, then that's a good thing. So yeah, so those are my three things that I think everybody needs to know about breakups. 
and yeah I look forward to sharing the rest of this uh, series before I turn 30 hopefully hopefully no promises um, but yeah subscribe if you want to see the rest of the series okay love you guys bye